In this video, I'm going to show you how to use NI Max to examine, configure, and simulate NI devices. The first thing we need to do is open NI Max. I can do that by double clicking on the icon here on the desktop. The next thing I want to do is look at the devices and interfaces that are connected to my computer. If I open this section of the tree, you'll see I can see a camera I'm using to record, my integrated webcam, and another real instrument that I have here connected. In this case, it's an NI9201 analog input module. I can also use Max to create simulated hardware. To do that, I go to Devices and Interfaces, click Create New, Simulated NI DACMX Device or Modular Instrument, and Finish. This dialog will pop up, which will allow me to select from any of NI's large library of hardware resources. For this example, I'm going to pick the M series NI PCI 6221. You can see as I clicked it, it added a simulated device, NI PCI 6221, named Dev1 in my device tree. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to right click and rename this module to PCI 6221 for ease. You can see here that for simulated devices, external calibration and self calibration all show NA for the device properties. Also, if I click the self test, or self-calibrate, these will always pass because we're working with simulated hardware. I can right-click and see device pinouts for that specific module like I would on a real module. And I'm even able to look at test panels, which when brought up, show an easy to use interface to acquire data. If I look at my real hardware that I have connected, I can perform a real self-test, look at device pinouts, and also test panels. Now that we have both real and simulated hardware created in NIMAX, we can close this window.